my friends, welcome back to today's Chinese impractical situations. In today's video, we'll dive into a common traveling scenario: check in at a hotel in China. I will guide you through a step-by-step -step dialogue covering everything from presenting your passport to requesting the Wi-Fi password. Well, join me as we break down the key phrases and pronunciation tips to help you navigate the check-in process with ease. Before we dive into the conversations, please take a screenshot of this page and remember to use it as a reference for a future revision. Are you ready? Let's begin. Right now, we're starting our first task for today: checking in at a hotel. As the customer, you can start a conversation with "Ning hao," hello. "Wo xiang," I want to. "Ban li," to deal with, to manage. Or to process, 入住 check in. And the hotel would say, 好的 of course, sure. 请 please, 出示 to show or to display. 一下 a bit. 您的 your, 护照 passport. After saying that, the hotel staff may need to type in your information in the computer, and normally that takes two to three minutes. And after that, they would give you your room key. 这是 this is 您的 your 房卡 room key. 房 means the room or house. 卡 the card. 请 please. 拿好 hold on to it. 拿 means to hold something or grab something. 好 means good or well. 您的 your 房间 room 是 is 幺六零九 one six zero nine 号 number. Hotels in China would normally post their Wi-Fi password on the wall in the lobby, but occasionally you just don't see them. In that case, we could ask the staff, and the conversation goes, "Ching Wen, excuse me, I would like to ask, 你们 your 这里 here 的 of Wi-Fi." Well, obviously, we took that from English. 密码 password 是 is 多少 how much? Right here, we have a chunk that is very useful. When you want to ask a question about numbers in Chinese, for example, phone number, or like here, we're we're asking about the、uh, Wi-Fi password number, then we can say the one so number 是多少 And normally, there will be a really big chance that the Wi-Fi password number is already on the room key. In that case, the staff may say, 密码 the password 已经 already 在 at 您的 your 房卡上了房卡 the room key 上 on. The is the past particle, means it's already there. 是 is 六个 six or six pieces of 八 eight. So that means the password is eight 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 eight. By the way, in Chinese culture, number six and number eight are lucky numbers. Right now, it's time for us to work on the pronunciation. I'm going to read the dialogues in slow speed, then regular speed. Remember, you can always pause the video and read after me. Slow speed. 您好，我想办理入住。好的，请出示一下。您的护照，这是您的
房卡，请拿好。您的房间是幺六零九号。Regular speed。您好，我想办理入住。好的。请出示一下您的护照。这是您的房卡，请拿好。您的房间是幺六零九号。Slow speed again。请问你们这里的 WiFi 密码？是多少？密码已经在您的房卡上了，是六个八。谢谢。Regular speed， 请问你们这里的 WiFi 密码是多少？密码已经在您的房卡上了，是六个八。谢谢。That is all of today's video, and thank you so much for joining me in this lesson. In our next video, we will tackle some common requests in hotels. See you soon in the next one, and take care. Bye.